Welcome to Christ Open Door Community Church. We are located at 5265 Alhambra Drive, Suite C in Orlando, Florida, 32808. Every Sunday, we have Christian education at 10.15 a.m. and worship service at 11.15 a.m. We'd love to have you. Now for today's message. You go home, take off all your clothes. Get as naked as you want, how you can. Take off everything and look in the mirror and say, what I see in the mirror is important enough for me to go to hell. <laughs> Why y'all missing out? I don't care how beautiful you are under your clothes, ain't nothing on you is worth going to hell. Amen. Amen. No, y'all scared. Y'all scared. I ain't scared of the devil. I ain't scared of the devil. Amen. I know I was handsome when I was younger. I, well, I'm still handsome now, but when I was younger, I was just younger when I was handsome. I had girls everywhere. And sometimes God will look at me and say, man, how you get hurt? Man, as I tell you, you want, I have to kill you. It's, it's my secret. I know how to treat a woman. I know how to politely to say nice things to a woman. See, women don't like when you walk up on them like you got it all together. Ooh, what's up? Ain't no woman that wants you, bro. You got to know how to talk to a woman. You got to know how to treat a woman. You, come on, somebody. You, you, you get a woman with sugar, not with salt. And I don't care how many muscles you got budget, that ain't going to be the end of the story. Can you pray for this and Big Mac that we're going to get from McDonald's? I don't care how many muscles you got, can you pay for the Big Mac? All right. <laughs> You're going to like this thought. You know why? Because I want to show Christ open door something that you don't even see in yourself. Okay. Jada, I'm going to need you. Can you come take my pressure? <laughs> Chapter 12. Fresh Chronicle. And where you about at? You left at home. Where the ushers? 12 hours. <laughs> That's my baby. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the scripture to you. Amen. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all got it. Listen, this is gonna be good. Y'all gonna like this. And these are the numbers of the band that was ready on to the war and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. That's the first verse. The children of Judah. Bathsheba and Spirit, and was 6,800 ready on to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor, for the war, 7,100. The children of Levi, 4,600. And Jehoshaphat uh, was the leader of the Ammonites. And with him was 3,700. Yes. And Zodar, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, 20 and two captains. Of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, 3,000. But into the greatest part of them had kept the war of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, 20,000. And 800 mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. Yes. And of the half of the tribe of Manasseh, 18,000, which was expressed, expressed by name to come and make David king. Now read this on 32. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the time to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them was 200, and all of their brothers were at their commandments. Yeah. If you look at these scriptures, 
you'll see that each one of the ones that were prepared for war, they had thousands to back it up. Now, there's something strange about this, but when it got down to the last tribe, and that tribe was Issachar, of the ones other had thousands, but Issachar only had 200. What was the difference? The difference was they was not valid. They didn't have all the stuff that everybody else had. The difference in verse 32, starting with verse 22, is that of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times. Mm -hmm. Listen, you don't have to have a lot of people in the church, but you need some people that understand the time. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. One of the most bad conceptions is people that don't have an understanding of the time. You know why, John? Because they've been saying Jesus coming back, Jesus coming back. And now we don't got so relaxed. We have got so complacent that we almost don't believe that he's really coming back. That's true. And the thing is, we're seeing the enemy step up his game. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. The children used to fly kites years ago. Yeah. Now they fly drones. Yeah, yeah that's true. All right. They used to play with cap pistols. Now it's AK-47s. AK, AK yeah. Are y'all seeing the difference? Yeah. That, 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 that watch that you got on, a eye watch, or whatever kind you got, you know, that you can talk on. Mm -hmm. Dick Tracer had one back in the 50s. Yeah. 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 That's true. We're only coming up to a place now where we're seeing the times. Mm -hmm. And people are not looking at the times in there because we're so misfocused on what's going on in the outer world, but we're not looking at what's going on in the spirit world. Yeah, and it's coming faster than what you think. So this Ithacar was named out of all the tribes. They didn't have all those thousands and thousands and thousands of people. But Ithacar was the one that God chose to have people that had understanding of what? What was the time? The times. Y'all got to get that. Understanding the time. It is important to understand the time. Why is the newscasters telling y'all that the earth having an issue? Why? Because we're saying winter are uh, a state that's got summer in it. Mm -hmm. In Michigan, where my mother-in-law, uh, well, I call her my mother, where they live, they have never seen weather in the 90s like they're seeing it right now. People have not seen the mudslide, the floods. How y'all hear me? Hurricane, tornado, two at one time. It's the signs of the times. And God is trying to wake up this country and tell them, listen, I'm soon to come back. You need to prepare your soul. Just like to prepare yourself to go to work, like to prepare yourself to go out and eat dinner, you need to prepare your soul to meet Jesus. Yeah, that's true. And it don't have to be tomorrow. But you can learn to some stuff tomorrow where you still need it. Because every day I wake up, I need the Lord. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Every day I wake up, I need God. And so Ezekiel was the, had the tribe where they had the understanding of the time. Christ opened the door, you don't have to have 100 members. You don't have to have 200 members. All you need is to have people in your congregation that understand the signs of the time. And they'll know when it's time to do this and time to do that. Because the Bible says to every season, everything that happens has a time. Yeah. It's a time to plant, then it's a time to, to pluck up. Yeah. Amen. There's a time to love, then there's a time to hate. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. The season of the time is so apparent that most of the clergy nowadays, they worry about how many members they got. Come on, somebody. Yeah. What kind of community they live in, and they're not taking their congregation to the signs of the time because they're afraid to teach a message that can bring truth to the congregation. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be rich. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And if I could just pay my rent every month, I'm grateful. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I got to be grateful. I'll be grateful for myself. Because yeah. I realized that if there wasn't for God enabling me and giving me the strength, to do what I do do. And whatever provision he made, it's not me, it's the Lord that's joining himself. Mm -hmm. Have y'all heard of Issachar before? Yeah, no. Do you know what Issachar come from? Okay. Issachar was the 
fifth son of Jacob. He was number five. Let me tell you how Isabel got here. There was one that Jacob was a part of the marriage. Y'all know about Rachel. Yeah. Rachel was a good looking one, but she couldn't have no babies. Yeah. And Leah, mm -hmm. the Bible says she was tender eyed. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know what that means? She wasn't good looking, wasn't good looking at all. And, but that was the one that God used to give Jacob Issachar. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how he got him. If you enjoyed today's message, please leave a like. And if you would like to hear more, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's message and thank you for supporting the ministry.